Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, especially welcome to Vlora, Vlora Albania. Um, I've been here for one day now. Uh, I kind of came here just to see another city. I was thinking about moving here in the next month once uh, my verbal commitment in Duris is over to stay at that apartment. So I'm looking to relocate and um, Vlora is the place I'm looking to relocate to. So I'm here just kind of looking for apartments, looking for good places to take photographs. Because to me, that's what it's all about, is being able to take pictures, so. Um, so I'm just kind of walking around the city and looking for good places to, to take pictures and apartment hunting at the same time. So we're gonna walk around and kind of show you what I see and uh of Lori here because so far it's been such a beautiful city a busy street i picked to open up this vlog on so i hope you can hear me but on the outside here i'm just kind of walking along the foothills of the mountains and it's just gorgeous i should probably get out of the road So I hear there's so many things to do in this city and um, one of the, the bartenders at the cafe um, kind of took out my Google Maps and showed me all the places that I needed to see once I told him I was a photographer. He, he showed me areas where there's a castle here. Now, I think that's what he said was a castle. So I'm going to look for all these different things. Um, now and now it's the afternoon and I'm just kind of sweating because it's a beautiful hot day here uh, Now I'm close to seaside. So the breeze is picking up. So it feels just spectacular All right, I made it to the beach here in Vlor, Vlor Albania. Uh, the sights here are just spectacular. I can already see that there's so many photo opportunities here. Um, kind of like the beach in Duras, it's a very beautiful beach. Um, this one seems to be uh, cleaned up a little bit more. I don't know if there, there's because uh, there's a little bit more tourism here right now. And uh, Duras is just picking up their beach now. Uh, for tourist season, but nonetheless, uh, both beaches are beautiful. Uh, but the beach here is very nice. The sand is very easy to walk in, although I'm walking on the shore in my shoes right now. Um, but like I said, so many things here to be able to take pictures of. Uh, these mountains uh, behind me with the cloud cast going over, uh, over the top of them. I could see during sunset or um, sunrise with the colors in the sky, it being a very beautiful picture. Uh, but I'm here right now um, during the day. So I'm not looking at um, sunset or sunrise, although it's probably a great location for it. I I'm trying to look for pictures right now. Uh, even still, I think with a, a, some filters on and some long exposures, I think you may be able to make some uh, beautiful pictures of these mountains and kind of get some of these rocks in down here to add as leading lines or the coast itself to add as leading lines uh, to make a really nice uh, photograph. Not only that, but uh, with the long exposures, you're gonna be able to calm down a lot of the water here as well. 
Uh, but yeah, the, the beach here is beautiful. One thing it's got that Duras doesn't have, and I'm not really trying to compare the two beaches because both uh, cities are beautiful in their own right. But it's just uh, nice being able to be here on the beach and seeing the mountains behind you, um, all, all behind me as you can see. Um, just off in the distance, it's just it, beautiful to look at. Um, and then on top of that, one of the one of the things that is similar to Duras is just uh, the resorts all along the coast here and the, the walkway. Um, might even have a little bit of a better walkway than Duras on the beach. Um, but like I said, I'm not comparing. It's, it's definitely relative to what you prefer. Uh, the walkways here are really nice. Duras is really nice as well. Uh, but it's really hotel and cafe after hotel and cafe, so on and so forth, all the way down here. So um, you definitely shouldn't go thirsty finding um, an adult beverage or, or some caffeine or even just to take a water break. Uh, but yeah, the beach here is beautiful. And even like for hobby photographers like myself, um, it, it's such a great area uh, because this this area is very picturesque the mountains are just gorgeous so i'm going to take a couple shots now keep walking down the beach um like i said before one of the uh, the coffee shop uh, waiters or bartenders advised me to go all the way along the coast which is past this point over here so i'm going to go check that out and see if i can get um some beautiful shots today but i don't think i'm going to have any trouble with that so yeah, the, the beach here is amazing. I would recommend coming here and you could spend all day just on the beach and today is beautiful. Uh, it's probably 70, 75 or 22, 23 Celsius, 24 Celsius, maybe a little bit lower, somewhere around there though. But yeah, it's beautiful so far. I just uh, was walking along this pathway that pretty much goes the entire coast here by uh, all the hotel zones and the cafes. And I found this quiet little beach, which uh, when the sun's reflecting off it, you can just see how aqua and blue the, the sea is. It's beautiful. And then it has um, some of these rocks right on the shore. So uh, it is blocked off so i kind of snuck in here so i'm trying to head out really quick i'm not sure if it's illegal or if it's just under construction or whatever the case may be but so i just walked down here on the beach took a couple long exposure shots um just because the sun is so bright today i i had it at like eight second timer so it really smoothed out um the water and uh, I use this coastline over here uh, as kind of a leading line. Um, just kind of drifting into the mountains. Nothing spectacular, just practicing with long exposures once again. Um, but I just want to get the colors out uh, because like I said, the way the sun is reflecting off the water, it's just beautiful. And hopefully I'm able to capture some of that. I can't wait to get these images home. Uh, but I did see a few people down here when I first came here. So I don't think, and they seem like locals and there's now people walking down here. So I don't think I'm gonna get in too much trouble down here, but it's very quiet. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's really a swimming beach, but these rocks really just add to um, kind of foreground subjects to lead into that kind of broken down pier in the boat and then even further down just like the peninsula of the coast down there so there's so many things that you can um, make as your subject from the foreground background and it's got all these like stairs leading down to it so I'm guessing that in the peak season this is a very busy beach um, but as of right now yeah I use some of those rocks down here um, like I said, to add as a leading line to the background of the, that peninsula and um, and the mountains in the background with a little bit of uh, clouds over the top of it. So just kind of a, a beautiful sight. Now I'm just going to get out of here real quick before somebody yells at me. All right, I'm past the beach and I am on an uphill journey. I'm still trying to find this lookout spot that this cafe worker or bartender or whatever he is told me about. And I've been walking uphill for about two miles now. According to Google Maps, I'm like 12 miles away from my Airbnb. So, with it being so nice out today, I am just completely covered in sweat. Nice stink. But this is the nicest weather probably I've gotten so far since being in Albania. And really, you can't you can't argue about the temperatures, especially when you're in a a paradise really like this is and I'm not sure before I ever came to Albania I would have put the those two words together as far as paradise in Albania but it certainly is I would have never expected this so I'll give you kind of like my viewpoint here and this is what I'm seeing it's not exactly yet on Google Maps to where I was told to go for sunset or for, I shouldn't say sunset, but uh, a scenic overlook rather. And you just never get used to these sites. But my point is, put the camera this way the point is it comes at a cost and that cost is exhaustion perspiration <laughs> um, not smelling the greatest I'm by myself so I really don't have anybody to impress the only thing is I keep getting further and further away from my apartment or my Airbnb rather this is not sponsored by Airbnb I'm getting further and further the more I head this way so I hope this scenic overlook is worth it and judging from the look on his face when he was telling me about it it, it is going to be worth it wow Look at this. So I'm not afraid of hiking at all. 
I hope I get good pictures. Well, I'm gonna get good pictures, I think. The subject is beautiful. It's kind of like having a supermodel in front of the camera and saying, I'm not gonna get any good pictures of the subject. I mean, you better. <laughs> because the subject here is beautiful. I'm gonna get good pictures. It's just that at what distance am I gonna have to go to get them? Uh, if I would have known it was this far, and I did know it was this far, um, but I was taking my time all day stopping at random places to take pictures, so it's getting late in the day. It's probably 5.30, 6 o'clock p.m. right now. And so I have, or I'm going to have, right around a 15-mile a hike back. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Look at the, the this water here. Just amazing. So anyway. Yeah, just look at this. Look at that. This is great. So. Yeah, I'm going to have about a 15 mile walk back home. And so I hope I score some very epic picks. Which I have a feeling I'm going to. Well guys, I decided to not get to, to the lookout point where that my bartender was talking about because I decided to stop right here um, and photograph sunset over here. Um, it, it's so beautiful, I couldn't pass it up. It's on private property, but I asked the owners. And so I came down here and spent about an hour. I just got some breathtaking views and hopefully some good images. And so this day has been nothing short of spectacular. It's been the sights, the weather, and hopefully the photographs that I've taken today. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a brief kind of a clip of, of what um, Vlor Albania has to offer um, from the beach to the cafes um, and to the sights. So uh, it's a beautiful city and I'll probably make another vlog, but if not, um, thank you for sharing today with me. I appreciate it and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, bye.